Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2, and I'm back again with another TV review. Now recently I began watching a new series on the BBC, an original production called Orphan Black. Now, um, I love this show. <laughs> Let me just say that. I love it. Um, <clears throat> now it begins with a middle-aged, well, I, I'm thinking she's about 20-ish, 30-ish, so I'll say middle-aged. It's a middle-aged woman who lives her life with her brother. I think they're orphans. That's part of the, the title itself, but they live on the streets. They're kind of urchins, and he, uh, her brother Felix, is a drug push. I just love him because he reminds me of Vivian from um, the young ones. I'm not sure why, but he's so much like Vivian. Um, I, I love him for that reason alone. Um, uh, plus, he's super hot, and I just love to hear him talk because it's a Cockney accent, and it's just, I think it's so cool. Um, he thinks he's in charge of everything. He thinks he's kind of a big big, but he really isn't. There are a lot of people who threaten him, and um, <laughs> they do a lot of they rough Felix up quite a bit, and I feel sorry for the guy, but you know he brings it upon himself. Unfortunately, that's another thing. Uh, sometimes I think that he says things that allow him to get himself into situations that end in violence, basically. So he is a self-fulfilling prophecy, but he's still just a great character. And I, I just think that he oozes um, charm and sophistication, despite the fact that he curses like a sailor. Uh, Sarah is very much like her brother, and she does drug runs for, for him. Um, this particular episode, after she, uh, <laughs> what happens is uh, there's a, a lady that she sees at the train crossing, and she's walking up to the sign, the map where you you'd usually find, you know, we are here, or the name of the station itself, and uh, the the paneling is coming off, and you can't really read where this is. I think this takes place in present day. Um, UK. I think that it's in the UK. <laughs> I'm assuming because it's filmed in the UK. But this woman, she she takes off her shoes and she takes off her coat and she folds her coat and she puts it down over her shoes. And then she walks over to the railing next to um, the the train where the train would be coming and she walks right on fr in front of the train and, and kills herself and of course Sarah is completely shocked by this she's appalled she is so indelibly <laughs> dumbstruck that she had seen such um, an atrocity occur and nobody knows who this woman was or is or why she even looked like Sarah, but apparently this woman, her name is Beth, she had been a cop, and um, Sarah does some investigation and finds that this woman has quite the si sizable bank account, and of course she watches um, Beth's home videos made by uh, Beth's boyfriend and starts to speak the way that she would speak and wear the clothes that she would wear, but of course you know, the boyfriend kind of suspects that it's not Beth they speaking to. He asks her about her court hearing, and uh, she says, "This Beth, well, I, I, I choked and I flaked out on it, and you know, it's not really true. She just, she just lied, and she was ad libbing the whole time." Um, it's a very unique, dark series, and it makes you think. And uh, we don't really know why this is all happening yet. Uh, but we do have reason to suspect that there are those who think that uh, the woman who died, um, they know, there are some people who know it was not Sarah. They, they're very aware of that. Um, and there was another woman who appears later on who looks exactly like 
Sarah as well, who has a German accent, and um, she needs her help. Of course, she was um, thinking that Sarah was Beth, and then she realized this is not Beth, and she gets shot through the head. I know, spoiler alert, but that part of of the series itself kind of gave me a start. I mean, I, I literally jumped out of my chair. I wasn't expecting that, but I thought, yeah, there's going to be people after her who know something that she doesn't. But um, there really is no explanation as to why this is yet. And that's what makes the series that much more interesting. But it's going to get more intriguing as time goes on, I think. So I really like the series. I think that all the actors and actresses involved in it are just terrific. It's um, one of those <laughs> mind benders that will get your mind uh, worrying and clicking and thinking, what if this sort of thing happened? And what would the purpose in it be? Why would this, why uh, would whoever's doing this do such a thing? What would be the, the benefit of it all? Uh, how would the person going through it feel? What would, what would their initial reaction be? Um, those sorts of questions are the things that, that come up, I, I think. Um, I really enjoy the series so far. There are going to be new episodes every um, weekend, I do believe. So I will be doing those reviews as well. And uh, stay tuned for my next review on Orphan Black. So I will see you then.